Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. This is Nathan from PH Studios. And in the last tutorial, we discussed some simple keyframing, and we'll get more in depth on that as we go on the series. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to do a brief, very brief explanation of the built in a particle system called CC Particle World. And I mean brief because the next tutorial, we're going to do the hyperspace effect, which is all particle system with the little effects here and there so just a brief overview of what's going on and then in the next tutorial we'll go in depth and actually do some work with it now I'm going to give you a uh, just familiarize yourself with the uh, CC particle world now if you're on the demo I when I first learned After Effects I downloaded the CS4 trial this did not have CC Particle World that did not have any of the CC plugins. I don't know if that has changed with CS5 or not, but I think the full version, you have to have the full version in order to get it. So you can follow me here if you want to, or if you don't have the full version, you can just not watch this if you're, if you just want to skip it. Or if you just want to learn how it works, you can watch that too. Okay, we need to make a new composition and I'll make it 720 resolution and I'll click OK, 10 seconds, that's OK alright, I have a caps lock on so I need to disable that ok, so the way the particle system works is it uses a solid layer and in order to do that you need to do layer, new, solid and it can be any color you want I'm just going to demonstrate it with a kind of a teal cyan type color and I always click this to make sure it's comp size and click OK so now you should see a solid cyan color here and that's what we want but we want to get to the particle system so we just go to effect simulation and CC particle world now this is built into the full version I do not know if it's built into the uh, trial in CS5 trial or not and we can kind of walk through this and see what's going on here. So the default settings are kind of annoying because it has all these sort of guides and everything like that that we'll see. So we just gotta turn those off just to uncheck these and make sure they're off. I just like them off because I like this just see what I'm going to output okay so now the birth rate is kinda like what it sounds like you increase this the more particles get born you decrease this very few get born and longevity same thing if you increase this they last longer decrease this they last a very short amount of time so they die off right there and then they don't last any longer Okay, so now the producer, it's kind of interesting. You can say where you want it to start, and you can even, like we did last tutorial, we can do keyframes. We can keyframe the position and move it side to side. And the radius, it just determines, uh, it'll randomly place a new particle from any given radius of these values. So if we increase the x value, it'll randomly create a particle in a long x radius so x y and then z so it randomly creates particles in this giant world and it kind of looks like rain if you do it that way okay so I'm gonna reset these physics here you can set it to explosive, twirl, uh, like I said, I won't go in depth on these all right now because we'll get into this in the next tutorial and uh, we'll just keep on going the more tutorials will go. And velocity, like how fast it'll fly out and things like that. I'll set it back to one. And here at velocity, I will get into that too. Gravity, how fast it will fly down, or zero. We can set it to zero so it does not have any gravity at all. So they just fly out. 
and then an extra. This is for rotation. And resistance. If we have a high velocity and a very high resistance, they fly out very fast, but then slow down. And I'll show you what that is here right now. So you can't really see that, that too well with this kind of stuff. Okay, so the particle. The particle, I do not really like the lines, but you might. I usually, for my tutorials, I use a lens concave or lens convex. Uh, whichever one looks good. Or I do any of the other lens ones. And, uh... The wallpaper you've seen me use for the XNA series, if you've seen those, the intros, even the intros, they're built with the lens particle systems. And then I can set the birth size very high, uh, death size very low or very high even, so it grows instead of shrinks. Now let me set this back to one. Size variation. And max opacity, decrease this to kind of give it some sort of cool effect, kind of like smoky type stuff. And then this is just trans mode, you know, additive and screen and all that stuff from uh, Photoshop. Additive will bring out the colors more, things like that. It'll just add the colors. And this is just a brief overview. You can mess around with the settings, get a feel for those until next tutorial. Uh, and just increase this, increase this, increase this. And let's do a lens convex. Let's set this to zero point eight, and let's set seventy five. Okay, so here we go. This is what the what we will be similar to what we will use for the uh, hyperspace effect. But we'll also be doing distortions and blurs and all that stuff to kind of really give it a nice effect. So that's it for this tutorial. It's a very quick one. Just give you a brief overview. And uh, just play around with the settings a little bit. If you toggle this switches and modes and set it to this is for motion blur and you have to turn it on for the layer as well if you look at that it'll kinda of be blurry so if I turn up the, uh, the velocity a little bit it'll be very uh... there's a motion blur kicking in so if I disable this and enable that that's a motion blur So very crazy things you can do with this sort of thing. And we'll get into all this stuff later on. I just thought I would do a brief overview. Okay, next tutorial we'll do the hyperspace effect. Which I'll show you the video right now. Uh, this is version 2. I'll do, I'll do a completely different version during the tutorial. But there will be two other versions that you can use. This one is version 2. All this is done with the particle system. I did just blurs and fades and uh, distortions and things like that. I did a camera shake as well to kind of make it look like it's sort of an explosion type, like your camera's right next to it, and it's just going crazy and things like that. So we'll do all that stuff next tutorial. That'll be our first big tutorial after that. Okay, so I hope to see you next time.